Hi, everybody. Hey, y'all. It's been a long time since I've gone live. I'm like, I think I'm going to go live this for today. It's been so long. Happy Friday. Yes, everything is going well. Baby girl's over here napping, so if she starts to fidget and I need to grab her, y'all understand. <laughs> she should be good, though. So welcome. It's been so long, like I said, since I've gone live. It's been months. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, um, but I'm doing good. So I want to thank you all for like all your love, all your concern, checking on my family and I, checking on baby girl. Um, so I appreciate Instagram family, YouTube family, like y'all are bomb. Um, we're doing good. Um, maternity leave is almost over. I'm about to cry, y'all. <laughs> like, I got spoiled just like not having to worry about work and all this stuff. But I got one more week of maternity leave, but she's doing great. I'm doing great. Um, the weather is starting to change here in Ohio, and I'm so happy. Um, so baby girl and I can get some walking in, and I can start getting active. Uh, if y'all been following me for a while, y'all know last year, I was going hard on my um, fitness journey. Y'all, before my husband knocked me up, <laughs> I tease him all the time, I was six pounds away from my goal weight. Like, ain't that crazy? So y'all know I'm about to go hard to get this snatch back. <laughs> I was so close to my goal weight. And then, you know, anniversary shenanigans. And that's exactly what happened with PJ birthday shenanigans with her anniversary shenanigans. All my, you know, married people out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm like, you know what? This anniversary, our anniversary is actually coming up in a month and his birthday's in May. I said, don't you play. Don't we ain't we gonna have fun, but leave me alone. <laughs> We're gonna come home and go to bed. <laughs> but no, um, Everything's doing good. Everybody's doing fine. So I appreciate all of you all. So um, y'all, so y'all feel me, right? He played too much. He plays too much. Leave me alone. He be trying to get me lit on anniversary, and I'd be like, stop. <laughs> okay. So welcome to Lady C Live. It's been a long time. I just wanted to come in and talk to y'all. See how y'all doing? How y'all living? Um, so I am releasing a new digital product today. It is my ebook. It is um, Candle Wicks 101, um, the ultimate wick guide. And I wanted to come on here because if you are a member of Lady C's Digital Studio now, um, you know, getting access to all my freebies, I already have like several guides out there, like a wooden wick guide. I have a um, like beeswax um, guide, you know, that kind of helps you with like different candle wick sizes and all of that stuff. But the reason why I um, wanted to release this guide, this guide is way different. It's a lot more thorough. Um, the guides that I already have in the studio, it's just like a, like a, a chart of like what wicks pairs well with what wax, right? Um, so it's just a basic, straightforward guide. Like, hey, if I want to use beeswax, okay, well, Paris has a beeswax guide. I'm going to download that. And it gives you just real quick, here are some wick options that you can use as starting points, right? This guide is way more thorough. So with the ultimate wick guide that I'm releasing today, it walks through several things. Number one, it talks about um, the characteristics of a great candle wick. I get a lot of questions about wicks, right? I mean, wicks, that's one of the most frustrating things when it comes to candle making. Like, okay, Paris, I'm using this size jar. I'm using this wick. I mean, this wax. What wick do you recommend? And I always tell people like, oh, navigate to like a candle supplier website and um, just look at their, their wick guides. But again, every like a lot of candle suppliers they supply you with a chart right and so but they don't really 
go in depth with the characteristics, the whys, the how tos. And you know me, I am all about the how to. Like, if you're anything like my brain, you can give me the number. Like, okay, Paris, what is two plus two? It's it's four. Okay, well, how did you arrive to four? Like, I like to see how you arrived to get to four. Like, I if I d if I write somebody on their comments like, hey, can you help me with a Wix suggestion? I can tell you all day, like, okay, well, you can go to Candle Science, you can go here. And if you're using this wax, you can try this wick, right? But to me, the whole purpose of me starting my channel, starting my journeys, releasing freebies to y'all, um, starting the whole Lady C's Digital Studio, all of these resources that I'm providing the reason why is because I'm trying to help candle makers and aspiring candle business owners understand how to arrive to the how to like there's several videos on my channel. Actually, the video last sat Sunday when I um, was talking about inventory and showing you how to enter inventory and all of that stuff. The reason why I broke it down that way is because I want you all to not only just go like get on my YouTube channel or watch any YouTuber and get the answer. I'm trying to help you all understand how to arrive at the answer. My, This is just my perspective. I am a firm believer in continuous learning, continuous education, regardless of what industry you're in. If you go to a corporate job, they're going to make you take monthly tests or Every quarter, you got a test to take because they want you to have continuous education in the industry you're working in. My dad works for Coca-Cola. He's turning 66 tomorrow. And um, every every month, Coca-Cola requires him to take a test. Now, my dad is just a regular old truck driver, right? Just a blue collar brother doing his thing at 66. But he has to take a monthly test about any and everything, warehouse, how to drive the little warehouse trucks and how to do this and how to do that and how to do proper defensive driving, how to, you know, all this stuff. And he's like, I'm about to retire in a year and I got to have my daughters help me take a test because, you know, he's not really tech savvy. But continuous education, that's my point. I want to teach you all as candle makers and candle business owners how to arrive at the answer. I just don't want to give you all the answer. I mean, you can get on my channel and get answers all day. But how do you arrive there? And I think that what that's what makes a good up and coming business owner and future CEOs like learn how to arrive at how your business is functioning the way it is. You should know your numbers. You should know um, how much your business is bringing in every month. You should know how to make those calculations. Um, you can get QuickBooks. I have QuickBooks, but if you don't even know how to read your P&L sheet, how are you going to be able to um, plan for your business's financial health and your business's financial future? Like if you want to release new products in your product line later on, um, but you don't understand how to read your P&L, you don't know how much money your business is bringing in, you don't know if your business can even um, sustain with releasing new products, or do you know how to price your products? Do you even know how to, you know, how much things are going to cost? And is that going to eat into your bottom line? Maybe you want to hire a bookkeeper. Maybe you want to hire somebody to take some things off your plate. But if you don't understand your business's financial health, you're not going to learn how to get there. So back to my candle guide, this is what the guide is doing. It's helping you arrive at the answer. So I'm walking you through, number one, the characteristics. Yes, I am on two screens. <laughs> so I'm talking to YouTube. Sorry. And here's Instagram. I'll look at y'all some more. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? So so the first thing we talk about is the characteristics of what makes a great candle wick. So I talk about those different characteristics, right? Um, not just, okay, go buy this wick. Understand what type of wick you're buying. So I walk through what makes a good candle wick. And then we talk about um, how to choose the right candle wick size. And so I talk about single wicking, right, which is just one wick. And then I talk about how to arrive at double wicking. And I kind of walk through the math with that because I know a lot of people, I get a lot of questions like, 
is this jar, do I need a double wick this jar? Like, I feel like this jar needs a double wick or is it good with the single wick? So I talk about single wicking, but I also talk about double wicking as well and how to easily do some quick math to help you arrive at um, not only does this jar require, will burn better with double wicks, but then also um, once I do the math, then how do I go find the wicks that I need to double wick my jar? So we talk about that. And then I also help you understand, um, kind of walk you through the process of um, standard uh, wick testing. So I give you two different wick testing breakdowns. So kind of the industry standard of how to do a proper burn test with your wicks. And then I give you another example on how to do burn tests using the three candle burn test, which I haven't even really talked about a lot on my channel. I've done burn test videos, but not um, the three candle burn test that I normally do when I am testing like a new vessel or a new jar, which may require new wicks, if I want to try a new wax and things like that, excuse me, if you already have your product line kind of established, you know, understanding how to do future tests, this, this would definitely help you. Um, I think the three candle burn test, it just pretty much you get your recommended wick, then you do the size down wick, and then you get the size up wick. And you burn and you make three candles with those three wicks and you um, do your burn test. And I walk through step by step how to properly document that as well. So all of this is to help make for not only a safe candle, but a quality candle for our customers, right? Um, and not just throw wax and wicks and wicks in a jar just because you saw somebody on YouTube do it. Oh, well, then this may work for mine. Well, she used a nine ounce jar too. So this, her wick that she used may work for my jar. I tell people all the time, yeah, I use a nine ounce jar. You may use a nine ounce jar, but our vessels could be different diameters. Every nine ounce jar is not made the same. Every 12 ounce tin is not made the same. It could be different diameters. The vessels could be shaped differently. So you have to consider all of that when you are trying to make a quality candle and then wondering why things aren't working. So again, not just giving you all the answer, but helping you understand how to um, arrive at the answer. And then of course, um, I included some troubleshooting issues and some solutions. I can't tell you how many questions I get every day about troubleshooting candles. I know it's frustrating. So I included a lot of the most common wick troubleshooting issues and um, solutions. And then of course, I included uh, wick size charts. Um, I wasn't going to include it because I'm like, they could probably find these wick size charts anywhere. But I thought, why not just make this wick guide all inclusive and just include everything? So I included a wick size chart for soy candles. So all the different type of soy waxes, um, the most common, I included um, wick size, wick size types all the way from extra small to extra large. And I include two types of wicks in each paraffin candles, paraffin blend candles and pillar candles. I included uh, wick size charts for those as well. And I think I already talked about the testing, troubleshooting and what else is in here. Yes. So that is what the ultimate wick guide all includes. And I'm super excited about it because I'm hoping that um, with all of my with all of my digital products, including this one, again, it's just to help, 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 help make your candle making journey a lot, you know, a little less bumpy and rocky. Um, do I have all the answers? No. Does anybody ever really have all the answers? No, um, but at least I can be a resource to, you know, helping you all understand how to properly wick your jars. I know it's frustrating. And when I was looking at the digital products I already have, I'm like, I don't really have a guide though, like a true wick guide that breaks down wicks, like for real. Like I have a candle wick video, but it doesn't really go into this depth. Um, so I'm hoping this will really help you all. I'm excited about it. Um, it's something I've just kind of been working on and it's been in the back of my head for a long time. It's been on my 
to-do list in my Trello board for a while. Um, you know, then I got sick, pregnant and other things just kind of came up. So I'm like, you know what, I'll release it when it's time, when it's ready. And so, hey, here it is. So let me go through here and see if there's any like comments I need to respond to. And then I'm going to open it up for questions. I appreciate y'all too. Y'all are just amazing. I miss y'all. Y'all are awesome. Okay, so does anybody have, um, if you have any questions, throw them out there now and I'll I'll catch it and answer it. So now I kind of want to roughly go through um, and explain Lady C's Digital Studio to you all. So I've been encouraging people to sign up because, again, I get a lot of questions every day. I love answering questions. I don't mind answering questions <laughs> um, through DM and comments and things like that. But sometimes, maybe eight times out of ten, your question can be found when you join Lady C's Digital Studio. I have so many resources, y'all. Like so, like all of my digital products. Um, and then like now I have candle and wax melt testing labels that you can purchase. I have coaching. I have mentorship um, that you can join and sign up. Of course, I have my candle biz course that, you know, people have been now, you know, signing back up now that it's back out. And with the course, you still get access to the Facebook group and um, you get a 30 minute one on one coaching call with me with the course. Um, so, so many. And then, of course, I have my YouTube channel and my Instagram where I'm always posting tips and talking about tips and encouraging you all from a business owner to another aspiring business owner. So if you all have a question, definitely hit me up via DM, YouTube or, you know, email or whatever. But also make sure you take advantage of like when you sign up to somebody to follow them, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, if you hit follow, if you hit subscribe, take advantage of what they include in their description box, take advantage of what they include in their bio, because nine times out of 10, the answer is probably there. You just need to take the steps to join, like take the initiative to be like, if I need help, if I want to learn, if I want to get the answer, let me take the initiative and join. Most of my resources are free. Like, you all crack me up all the time. Like you're one of the main ones that don't mind answering questions or giving out, you know, I don't mind answering questions and helping you all out, but I also want to encourage you to take the initiative to, you know, join things, subscribe to things, you know, um, now with, um, other things like everything else that I have released now with the candle biz boss society, I've been encouraging you all to join my Facebook group. Um, the, my, Candle Biz Boss Society Facebook group now, where that membership is growing. It's going to be a part of uh, my membership that I am actually going to launch in the summer. But the Facebook to join the Facebook group, that's free, right? You can join my text club. That's free. Like there's so many things. When you join the studio, you get, I'm going to start releasing newsletters every week. That's free. Like there's so many free things that I do have available that you can easily join. And then when you're ready to take things to the next level, like, hey, Paris, I want some coaching or mentorship. That's when we can start getting into the nitty gritty and start talking. And, you know, you have to then change your mindset to invest in your business and not look at it like I'm spending money or paying somebody to teach me stuff, something like I'm investing in my business. This girl um, has been there, done that. Let me hit up, hit her up and see what she can help me achieve. Um, I have paid several business coaches. And when I say paid, I mean like investing in their programs to help me get to where I am. And now a lot of my automated processes and systems and things that I have working for my business now, I'm able to relieve my hands from it because I've learned from other business coaches and their programs how to automate my business. So that way I can focus on being creative and making candles and making products and expanding my business um, without having my hands in so many places. So take advantage of what people are supplying you and what resources are out there that's available to you. Again, I don't mind helping, but a part of me helping is supplying these resources. So just take a minute and subscribe or join or sign up to stuff. So that way you can understand um, how to properly run your business and get things going for you. And I guarantee you, your answers will be available there. Let me see if there's any questions. 
Um, I'm starting my candle business, but I have to give half my props to you. <laughs> I've learned so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me see. I think I saw some question here. I signed up and caught your special, but have been so busy. Will it expire? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It will not expire. You have access to that course forever. And um, you should have been able to join the Facebook group. So when you log into the course, it will give you instructions on how to join the Facebook group because the Facebook group attached to the course is only for the course. That's where I monitor it all day for any questions and assistance during the course, like while you're taking the course. The Facebook group, the Candle Biz Boss Society is my new Facebook group where I'm encouraging people to just join in general. Any candle maker, candle business owner, aspiring candle business owner, you can just join that Facebook group like whenever. So when you hit the link in my bio or hit the link in my YouTube description box, join Lady C's Digital Studio. When you join, that's when you get access to everything. So I don't have like my links all on my bio. The link to the studio is on my bio. So when you join the studio, that's when you get access to my freebies, my Facebook group. You learn how to join my text club and all of the, everything you need to learn, my coaching and mentor. Like a lot of people say, well, where's the link to your coaching program? Have you joined the studio? <laughs> you know, join the studio so you can not only get that link, but you can get access to everything else. Like, you know, I'm trying to teach you all to like get out there, join stuff. I have it available for you. It's there. I just need you to, to navigate to it. Um, so, no, it won't expire. You have access forever. Um, so, again, how will I do my session? So, the 30-minute session, it you have to log into the course in order to see that. Like, it gives you instructions on how to get on my calendar for your private session. So, all of that is in the course. Everything is... So the link in my bio to both to the course, um, not I'm sorry, to the Facebook group, you have to join the studio, Lady C's Digital Studio. Join that and you'll get access to that Facebook group. When you actually log into the course, that's when you can um, get on my calendar for our private session and all of that stuff. So. So what size wick do you recommend for an eight ounce glass jar with? coconut apricot wax. So again, I don't know um, the diameter of your eight ounce glass jar. So this is this is a good example of when I say like, I don't, I can't just, I can suggest a, a wick for the type of wax, but then again, you have to think about the size jar as well. So um, I don't know what the diameter of your glass jar is. So Beauty Chic, if you want to hit me up offline and tell me what the diameter is, then I could probably help you a little bit more. Because when you pick a candle wick, it's more than just the wax. And oh, it's an eight ounce jar. It may be an eight ounce jar, but what's the diameter of the jar? Because not all eight ounce jars have the same diameter. So this is why I made the wick guide. So to help you all out with these questions, um, because it's sometimes it's not just a one off answer. Sometimes there could be two wicks that will be great for it. And so Sometimes it's just a matter of buying both types of wicks um, and maybe buying a 10 pack and seeing which wick works best. So the frustrating part of wicking, I know it's horrible. So thank you all for tuning in to this quick live. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you, say hi, explain the wick guide and what's being released. So the wick guide will be available. It is dropping at 1 p.m., so in 30 minutes, just roughly 30 minutes, the WIC guide will be available. Um, and I will have the link to the WIC to get to the WIC guide at in my bio. And it will be in the description box of my YouTube channel as well. So that way you can get access to it. The ultimate WIC guide is just $10. It's a $10 ebook, a 14 pager. And it helps break down everything that you need. Just $10. And um, I'm very proud of it. Again, I put it together. Um, like the wick size charts, um, I, I put that together trying to find all the types of wax and what wicks go with what. And again, you could probably find that different 
websites. But again, I like to put everything in one package for people to just get one time and they can get most most or even all of their answers in one thing. I hate trying to find different answers in different spaces. So I've put everything together in this WIC guide to help kind of help you all understand more about Wix and how things work. So I am grateful for you all. Thank you for the support. Everything will be linked. So make sure you look out. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll announce it on YouTube. If you join Lady C's Digital Studio, you'll be getting an email about that as well. The link will be there too. So you can't miss it, y'all. You cannot miss it. You cannot miss it. I would love to have a private session. What's your name? Catrice or Catrice. So um, you can um, check out the link in my YouTube description box to take you to how you can sign up for a private coaching session. So if you are interested in that, that is available. That is available. My private coaching, mentorship, all of that stuff, again, it's linked in the description box in my bio. So you can check it out. So everything is there. And baby girl starting to wake up just in time. I said, she'll probably start moving about 1230-ish. Just in time. So thank you again for your love. The wit guy will be dropping at 1 p.m. Stay tuned. Watch out for my Instagram bio and I'll be posting it on YouTube and shooting out a blast email. If you're already subscribed to the studio, you'll be getting that as well. So thanks again. Stay tuned. I got a new video dropping Sunday. This Sunday, the video is kind of vlog style. I'm re Well, obviously I filmed it. So my store is already restocked, but I had a full week of candle making and I kind of walked through my batch production process. I know I get some questions about how do I make so many candles at one time? <laughs> and so um, I show kind of my batch production process and how I kind of break my candle making sessions up, um, restocking my inventory. I also talk a little bit about my labels and how I do my labels. Um, for my candles as well. So that's what the video is about Sunday. So make sure you catch that. If you're curious about how inventory works and all of that stuff, um, I have an inventory video on my channel as well that you can check out. Um, I use Inventora now and I'm loving it. I'm loving Inventora. It's so dope. And I finally got all of my 2022 beginning inventory entered. And I was able to learn how to enter in my new products when I restock my store. And I synced it to Shopify. So it automatically syncs with Shopify and updates my inventory there as well. And then every time you up you restock your inventory in inventory, it automatically deducts the materials and supplies you use. So that's helpful <laughs> as well. So if you're interested in inventory, I got that link in the description box too. I'm loving it, y'all. It's it's very automated, and that's what I'm loving. I've been on spreadsheets for like almost four years. So Inventora was a refreshment, <laughs> and it frees up a lot of my time. So if you're interested in that, check that out. All right, y'all. That is it. Thanks for tuning in, and watch out for the WIC guide drop. It will be available. It's just $10. Um, for the ebook, um, and it will be available at 1 p.m. So you'll be watching for the notifications, okay? All right. Happy Friday, and I will chat with y'all later. Thank you again for your support. Oh, wait. Somebody said they had an a question before you leave. Um, I love watching your videos. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's Janae or Janai. Um, do you think I should start or keep? I'm learning a lot on how to start a candle business. Do you think I should start or keep watching your videos? Okay. Um, learning a lot how to start a candle business. Um, I do have, I mean, my whole channel. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, she's starting to wake up a little bit. Um, my whole channel is about candle making and... Um, candle business tips. 
So, I mean, it's up to you. I can't tell nobody to watch me. I, I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> um, I encourage people to watch me, of course, because um, it's my channel. But um, I can't, like, I don't want to, like, yeah, you should watch me. Um, it's up to you. Like, if you like my content, I just suggest maybe going through my YouTube videos and just seeing if I'm your girl to watch. You know, I know a lot of people... Um, there's some subscribers, some people on YouTube I watch, and then there's some people that I don't because I prefer their content over this person. So, I mean, of course I'm a voucher myself. I provide great candle making tips, candle business tips, um, how to's vlogs. I talk about anything and under the sun when it comes to candle making and candle business. Um, so I would just say, check out some of my videos and see if I'm somebody that you would like to watch. And see if that's okay. Yes, you said it right the first time. No, do you think I should just jump and start or keep watching and learning? Okay, so I'm misunderstanding your question. Do you Are you saying, do you think you should just jump in and start a candle business or watch and learn before you start a candle business? I'm sorry, I'm trying to understand her question. But, okay, somebody's helping me out. Violet Carson, um, but you have to do testing your candle and wicks for proper burning. I mean, okay, so I'm, I'm assuming I understand your question now. I don't recommend anybody just jumping and starting anything. I don't, and I've told people, I've told beginners that because they come to me like I have all these supplies and materials and I don't know what to do with them. Like, don't never spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on supplies and equipment for something that you don't know nothing about. I always recommend research and education and see if that's something that you're interested in. And then if so, start small. Start with a kit. Start with maybe a five pound thing of wax and you know, research the candle wicks. You can use my ebook <laughs> um, and see what jars you want to use and what wax you want to use. I don't never recommend like, cause you can watch a YouTuber and see her candle studio and be like, oh, I need a 50 pound wax melter. I need <laughs> 65 pounds of wax. I need 200 wicks and 60 jars. And that's going to run your, your checkout cart about $500 and you're going to be mad because you don't know how to do any, you know, how to like proceed. And then you're trying to burn, you're, you're making some candles and they're not burning right. So I always recommend research and education before you dive in fully, like start with some kits, watch a few YouTubers like me. Um, if I'm the one you like to watch and then buy my ebook guy. <laughs> um, I also have a candle business course. I've helped almost 40, I think I'm at 40 now. Um, candle makers start their business with my course. Um, and I'm at, in my coaching membership mentoring program. I got two clients now where I'm helping them start their business. So I always recommend research, education, some type of mentoring. Now the craft, you could start small and start learning on your own, but the business side, definitely do some research or invest in a course like mine. <laughs> I keep throwing my stuff out there. Look. Um, so, and yeah, a lot of, so yeah, I've been researching, but also have to be hands-on. I understand that a lot of my students loved the course, but they also wanted like they wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. So they wanted somebody by their side. Some people work great learning on their own. They can buy a course and um, be just fine on their own. And then some people actually want somebody to actually be by their side and help them. Um, so it's up to you. It's I say do what helps you learn. But don't be spending five hundred dollars on those supplies, honey, and learn first. <laughs> start with some kits. There's so many kits out there that you could start. Go to Amazon and get you a little forty dollar kit and start there. 
and then watch some YouTubers. There's a lot of us on YouTube, including myself. So, you know, whoever you cling to, I always watch people that kind of feed off of my personality. You know what I mean? Or somebody that gives me a breath of fresh air. Those are the YouTubers I follow. I can't tell you to follow me. Um, but if we click via your, if, you know, through your screen, then I'm your girl. I got candle making tips, candle business tips. I talk about it all. And like I've been saying throughout this whole video, I have tons of resources available too. So there you go. There y'all go. All right. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any more questions. Thank you, Selena. That's one of my former students. She said, I took the course and I'm so thankful for it. The best money I've spent. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Right, Paris. That's what I did. I bought a candle making kit, wax melts kit. And yes, I'm good. There you go. Start small. I'm telling you because candle supplies get expensive when you start buying in bulk, honey. You look at your card. I'll be like, how did I get to $500? I just had some wax with it. It's expensive when you're running a business is what I'm saying. And let me say something about the candle business. Please, y'all. This is That's why I started the course. And I provide coaching because the business is a lot. I love, I mean, and, and the reason why, and I'm probably... I told myself, like, I don't know if I'll, you know, I'm not trying to be the favorite YouTuber or think I know it all. But what I have learned with starting a business, it's a lot. It's not just taking some cute pictures and putting it on your website and putting it on your Instagram feed and making cute packaging and, you know, watching how I pack my orders video. All of that's cute and fun and refreshing to watch. I love those videos too, but it is so much more behind the scenes, y'all. Inventory is no joke. I just had a girl ask me a question through my YouTube about inventory. She said, my accountant needs the number for my year-end inventory minus this year inventory and da 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 And I asked her, I was like, hey girl, have you been tracking your inventory all year? Well, not really. And I'm trying to figure out the short, most the br brief way to explain to her, you're going to have to go through all of your orders and fit, find a system or a platform, enter in all your past inventory for all of 2021 and get that number. And guess why I know how to do that? Because I had to do that. My first year, I had to backtrack and capture all of my inventory that I had already made and sold. That was not fun. Not only that, there's taxes that you have to pay. One of my clients now, she just launched a few weeks ago, and I told her, our next tax starting in April, I need you to understand and learn Nebraska's sales taxes. Give me the information so I can familiarize myself with your state's taxes because I have to help her learn how to pay her sales taxes starting next month. I told her, I said, I refuse for you to be my client and I'm just going to let you crack your face. I'm not going to let you crack your face. Next month, we're paying sales taxes and I'm going to teach you how to do it. Like, I just refuse. I'm not about to let, like, no, no, this coach don't do that. I'm about to help you pay your stuff. I teach her, um, she has inventory. I teach her how to do her inventory. She just shipped out all of her pre-sale orders and she made a, a nice chunk of change with her pre-sale. And I'm so proud of her. Now she's on Instagram doing her thing. No, it's so much more to it, y'all. It's a lot. Keeping your books clean. It's, it's more than just making pretty candles. And I'm not discouraging anybody to start a business. If you want to start a business, do it. Just do it with the proper education, right? Yeah, just saying, just saying, just saying. Running a business ain't no joke. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but do it right. Do it right. Take pride in what you're doing, right? Take pride. Like you want your customers to be proud of what they bought. But not only that, be the type of business owner that takes pride in the business they own. Don't have, I don't, you know, I don't want to cuss, but 
Don't half do. Y'all know what I was going to say. Don't half act. You know, don't do that to your business. Don't have no mediocre business. You're going to start a business, do it right, and be the best at what you do. If you if you make these type of candles, be the best of that type of candles that you make. Like, don't don't be a mediocre business owner. I'm saying. But I love y'all, though. I love y'all. I got resources to y'all got to y'all blue in the face. So take advantage of it. Um, so that's all I got to say. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm about to feed her. And I will holler at y'all another time. All right. Stay tuned for the wig guide. It drops at one. All right. Bye, y'all.